Yar me hearty! My name is Parky, or Pirate Parky today, for we are playing The Last Leviathan. That's an early access game which we're going to be looking into today. I've not played this before, yet we are here to conquer the seas. Now this is a sort of shipbuilding sandboxy game with challenges. So let's get straight into it. We're going to make the mightiest pirate vessel you have ever seen today. Ever. Maybe. A good pirate ship needs a good strong base. So let's get some good rough wooden boxes to make the main ship out of. Now, it's a bit of a sandboxy experience, so we've got to try and come up with a ship that we think is going to be able to take on all those other damn pirates, pirate wannabes, out there in the sea. Every pirate doesn't need to know his ship, just needs to know how to sail it, how to love your ship. That's the real question in this. Okay, I've actually almost completely filled up the power meter, so it might be a good idea to put some weapons on this. So I think what we're going to go with is we're going to go for one of these cheapest cannons, and we're going to shove it right on the front like this. And then at the back we're going to need some sort of movement to propel us along. So let's go for the small propeller, which we're going to put down here. Oh god, our ship exceeds the power restrictions! Ah, here we go. Alright, so let's get rid of all this stuff. This seems needless. No one needs this on a ship anyway. What kind of pirate would we be? Okay, let's move this. We're going to get rid of this over here and then replace it with the second cannon like so. Now, I think this might actually be a little bit heavy. So let's just go back into the hull and we... Oh, look, we can add armour. Ooh. And wow, these cost a lot of money, don't they? <laughs> okay, then, we could get a telescope, but I think probably the thing that we really want to do is put... Maybe some armour on the back? Why would we need to put armour on the back? We don't need to put armour on anything. What am I talking about? Who bloody needs armour anyway? Um, we've got to give it our mighty vessel a name. A, a name fit for something of this stature. HMS um, Float... Floaty... Mick... Boaty. Oh yes, it's beautiful. Okay, so that's set sail. HMS Floaty McBoaty. Let's do this. Now, hopefully we're not going to be too heavy here. Okay, well, maybe we need to go back to the dock. <laughs> let's surrender. Yes, let's concede. Oh, dear God. Okay, so maybe we can only have one cannon, and maybe we shouldn't put it right at the front of the ship. That might be a good idea. This is Pirating How To 101. Okay, we're going to go for a slightly different design this time. We're going to make a short, stubby boat in the hopes that we can have a little bit more control over where it's going. More like a dinghy. But you know, every pirate has to start out somewhere, even if it does mean that you have to have a dinghy. So let's go for this. We're going to actually put this on the bottom this time. And we are going to have one of these underneath. Like this. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, and then we are going to have maybe one of these under here. Now, we might have to remove that in a minute, but that's okay. We're going to go for the weapons. We definitely need at least one weapon on this bad boy. And then at the back, we're going to have the propeller, which I believe should actually sit in the water this time, or at least I bloody hope so. And also one of these rudders, which I don't know if it's going to work like this. Fantastic, that's said sad. <laughs> Please, for God's sake, don't sink. Ah. Oh. To be honest, at this point, if I can actually make something that doesn't instantly sink, I'll be quite proud of myself. Okay, so we're going to have to make this a little bit longer at the back. I think something like this should be pretty good. Of course it isn't. <laughs> Why is it sinking at the front so badly? For God's sake, Pirate Parky, you have no idea what you're doing. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, look at this. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. But then we still have the issue of weight. I'm not really sure how to counteract this weight at the front of the ship. I guess what we could do is just make it a bit wider at the front of the hull. So add a few little blocks on, a little bit like this. Maybe we could give it like wings. You know those boats that actually have the barrels off the sides? Sort of like a cat lying flat on the, the ocean or something. Okay, we're going to go for something like this, and hopefully this should work. I shall call you the HMS Crucifix. Let's set sail. Please, for God's sake, let's not sink this time. Slowly sinking, fine. <laughs> oh, damn, I think it actually might be these things that are causing me to sink here. Okay, well, let's try without those and see whether this actually works. I didn't see the weight on those. It's crazy. Okay, so here we go. We're actually in the water now and able to sail. It's quite an unusual pirate boat, but you know what? 
Captain Parky don't give a shit. <laughs> We're coming for you, platform. I know this time that we've got this guy. And look at this, we actually have steering, which is quite useful. Fire! Oh, cannons fire ahead. Okay, can we please slow down, for God's sake. This adversary doesn't even have any weapons, and we've taken this long to try and kill it. God, best pirate ever. Look at this, we're going to kill him. It might be actually a good idea to get some sort of ram, like a battering ram. Now that would be cool. I'm wondering actually whether I would blow myself up if I'm shooting this close. Owned! Look at that! So let's now dock again and see whether we can improve this bad boy anymore. So obviously this design is actually working. Now how can we make this even stronger? I think probably a good idea would be to make it a bit heftier at the front. To add maybe like a block on the front. A little bit like this. And then we can put another weapon on there, like a ram of some kind. Where are rams? Pike the Impaler. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, God. You wouldn't want to get in the way of that thing, would you? Jesus. Okay, and then maybe we want to upgrade our gun? Not really sure. This might be a bit heavy, actually, in which case we should definitely make the hull a little bit wider at the sides here. Now, we're getting a bit closer on the old power, but we've actually not used hardly any of this power yet. I'm slightly concerned that if we're using these arms as our main sort of, well, stabilizers, it's going to... If, it's going to be a bit tricky if they break off, let's just put it that way. So maybe what we should do is put a little bit of armour on these. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Okay, so we're going to put some fish scale armour, a little bit like this. Now this is quite, probably going to be quite heavy, frankly. So we can always put some more weight on the back, but let's see how we do. Is this just going to sink instantly? It's a bit front heavy. But I tell you what, it's not even that bad. Look at this. This is such a beautiful ship, I can't even believe it. Okay, so where is our adversary? Oh, is that him over there? Ah, I'm coming for you, friend. I don't know why I'm calling you friend. Evil pirate scum. It's quite stable, this boat. I like this pattern I'm doing. It's not the prettiest thing, but tell you what, it certainly does the job quite well. So we've got better weapons now. We can start actually ramming into the foes. So let's click on this, this zoom in here and see what damage we can do with the spikes. What I like is that you can actually see the spike in front of the gun as well. It's pretty damn cool. Okay. It's actually quite difficult to aim this. See if we can hit him on the uh, on the front there. Has he got a gun? He does have a gun. Look at that. We hit him. Direct hit, Captain. He's actually got a gun facing the other way, so we should slow down quickly. A bit of armor on the back. If we keep ramming in. Ram! Ram speed! Oh, look at that. We took out the block that the gun's sitting on. This guy's got no hope at all. Blowing off all the armor as well. I quite like that little um, thing on the back there. Is this actually doing any damage? I feel like it probably isn't. Yeah, probably have to go quite fast in order to do any real damage to these uh, boats, don't you? Cool, look at that. Three stars awarded. And we took hardly any damage at all. So let's redock and we're going to zoom in and see if we can improve this even more. Now, I think we're probably getting quite close to the upper limit of this. So let's just put an even better cannon on. Uh, and actually look, look at this, we've got like fire cannons. Fire cannon, one power, 160. Power, 600 though. Ah, oh, look at that, gold plated. And it looks like we can even make this bigger than it currently is, so let's do that. I mean, this does look completely bloody hopeless at the moment, doesn't it? But, you know, it's not a pretty beast, but it does do the job quite well. So I think more armor would be a good thing. So let's just improve our defences. We're not going to worry about the sides of the ship. If, any, if anything can get around the side of us, then we're going to have some problems. I think the speed we're going at is fine, which is good. Oh god, is this um, propeller just hovering in the middle of nowhere? I think it might be. Oh well, fine. It's maybe a design flaw later on, but for now it's, it's good. Right, and we're going to make this even cooler. And I think the way we're going to do that is maybe by adding a bit of protection around this cannon. In fact, I saw some like really cool sort of side railings there. I don't know where they were from. Decoration. Balustrade. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, what is that? I have no idea what that even does. End curl. And then corner. Oh, so maybe these just all link together when you put them like that. It seems like a bit of a pointless waste of power, though, doesn't it? I think what I will do, though, is I'm going to replace these 
and put the corner pieces on instead. And I think that's probably going to make it look a little bit better than having square edges. And in fact, I'll tell you what, just for bloody why not sake, we're going to make it look funky and bring it as close as we can for power. A set sail! We're going to take on the mighty beasts of the ocean. I think I can see something in the distance there. Aye, Captain! I spot a raider on the horizon! Yar, Let's go and get him! Oh man, this game is so good! I'm definitely going to play more of this, and if you want to see more of uh, my progress with the HMS whatever I called it, Jesus Christ, I can't even remember what it's called, um, then please feel free to leave your support as always. We could actually have a telescope on our ship so we could easily spot things in the distance, but I think for now it's fine at this point in time having just the ship's cannon on the front. Now I doubt we're going to be able to hit him from this far away. They call me old Captain um, Hawkeye. It's kind of like Hawkeye from Marvel, but slightly less cool. It's a bit of a trek, Captain. Please upgrade the rudder, for God's sake! <laughs> I need to get home to my wife! My sea wife? I, I don't know whether they're actually called sea wives. What is it? It's like a salt wife from Game of Thrones, yes. Ah, Captain, we need to get some cabins for the old salt wives. Maybe. Currently, they're not very impressed having to sleep open to the elements with no form of protection on the outside of the ship at all. Okay, so let's keep firing. It looks like they're going over to the left here. It looks like they've got a bit of a heftier cannon on them as well. And is he turning to fire at me? Is this going to be our first proper fight? It might well be. Let's see how it goes though. Direct hit, Captain! Try and go for it again! Oh, look at this guy. Oh, taking out the front. Direct hit again! Let's see if we can avoid getting hit by his bloody ship's cannon. It looks like it's facing completely the wrong way, though. So that's probably good. Throttle down! And then go go for fr his behind. Pirates never expect you to go for their behind. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Okay, let's blow off his cannon. That means he can't do any damage to us. And of course, full speed ahead to try and ram the bastard. Maybe we can take out his sail. Oh no, he's trying to turn to fire at us! Evasive maneuvers! Oh no, did he hit us? I think he might have done. But it's okay, he can turn a bit quicker than us. But I think we've got the superior firepower. We're taking out of his gun! Ah oh, yes, Pirate 101. The best form of offence is to take out their offence. I don't know if that's actually a thing, probably not. Okay, so let's carry on taking him down and we've won Battle 3. Look at that, fantastic stuff. Oh, and our ship? It's in pretty good nick. We've not taken hardly any damage. The big spike on the front, I'm not sure whether that's actually really doing anything. Let's dock again and see what we can do with this. Maybe we can replace this spike. That seems like a good idea. So what other fighting weapons have we got here? Steel blades? Maybe we could put like a blade on either side? Maybe we could go for Pike the Impaler. Power 200. Oh no, this is actually increasing the class. Alternatively, we could go for one of these. Um, a crab claw ram. Okay. Oh, maybe I shouldn't get rid of that little sticky outy bit. That's quite useful, actually, isn't it? Telling me where I am. I can then see exactly where my foe is. And in relation, of course, to the crab claw. Just rotate this around so it's the right way up. Perfect. Actually, I think that's still the wrong way up. I think the claw needs to be at the top like that. Oh, it's a beautiful vessel. Look at this. Fantastic. It's a bit heavy at the front now. God, who knew that a crab claw would be this heavy? And we've got to keep our eyes open. Captain, I spot them on the horizon by that outcropping. Let's go for it, shall we? I think we definitely need to improve the speed of this vessel. And also the fact that the propeller isn't actually attached to the vessel, but... You know what, no one cares. Pirates, they don't care how their ship gets around. They don't understand anything. It's like magic. Captain, I see them round the cliffside. I don't know what the cliffside is. <laughs> I think I just made that up as a, a nautical term. But anyway, I see them round the cliffside, whatever that means. I'm going to zoom into the cannon and try and take them out. Now, the whole purpose of this uh, game mode is to actually improve your ship and you get ratings and you need to kill a certain number of enemies before you can move on to the next class of vessel. Now, the higher classes of vessel actually allow you to put more stuff onto your ship. It also means that the enemies are a bit stronger. Oh no, they're firing, Captain! See if you can take out their gun! Luckily we've got quite a, a low-riding ship, so they should struggle hitting us. Ah, oh, we're taking off their ram! 
Oh god, take out their bloody gun. They've got a fire gun. A fire gun. We've flipped them. We've flipped them, Cap'n. They capsized. <laughs> and he blew up. Oh, brilliant. What a fantastic way of killing him. If you want to see more of me owning these piratey noobs, then all you have to do is leave a rating below. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Arrgh. <laughs>